Hi, welcome to The Summer Home. I'm Carrie, and today is all about shelf styling. We are going to talk about the eight types of items I almost always use when styling a shelf, no matter the type or size of the shelf. And make sure you stay until the end because I have a bonus for you all that you will not want to miss. Okay, let's get started. Number one, I'm going to start with an obvious one, and that is books. I love to use books when styling my shelves, and I almost always have a big stack of them when I'm restyling. No matter the size of shelf, they are a great item to use for adding different heights and dimensions to your shelves. But before we dive too much into this one, and you all are wondering, where are all of my books? I want to mention that we keep all of our reading books behind these closed doors of our built-in bookshelves, and that's just a matter of preference. There are beautifully styled shelves out there that are styled with book collections that I love. I will link a post below written by Room for Tuesday that is all about how to style shelves with a lot of books. But for this video, I'm going to share with you what I do, and that is, for the most part, I use coffee table or decorative books to style on my shelves. And you will want to group these coffee table books together either vertically or horizontally. They are such a great item to have on hand when styling your shelves because they offer a great way to add height to the vignette. And you can top the books with items like personal photos, a decorative object, or a vase filled with flowers. And when they are styled vertically, you can use an object as a bookend to add an additional layer of interest to the shelf, which I also love. You can also use bookends to style a few books on your shelves, like shown here. I will link in the description below a list of coffee table books that I love to style throughout my house. I'm also linking to a blog post where I share my favorite coffee table book groupings. Okay, now on to number two, which is decorative objects. I mentioned already that I love to use decorative objects stacked on books, but let's back up just a second and talk about what exactly is a decorative object. This could be a candle with some accessories or candle holders, it could be a marble geometric shape or not, or a wooden beaded garland. And you can use these decorative objects in several different ways. You could style a set of candle holders on top of a stack of books. You could style a marble object or candle as a bookend. You could also style a garland or decorative links on their own or on a stack of books like you see here. And a candle stacked next to an art print or on top of a stack of books is a no fail way to add interest to your shelves. And I also have a roundup of my favorite decorative objects that I will link below in the description. Okay, on to number three, and this one is vases and pots. I don't think I have ever styled a shelf without including a vase or pot. And this goes for my wall of bookshelves, along with my open shelves in the kitchen as well as in my laundry room. I love to fill them with faux or fresh flowers, or you can style them empty like seen here. And one of the big reasons that I love styling my shelves with vases and pots and why you should have a small selection on hand when styling yours is because you can grab a substantial one and it immediately fills up a large space. And the smaller vases and pots are perfect for stacking on books or as a bookend. Again, you can fill them with a small bunch of flowers or greenery or style them empty. One great way to style vases and pots is with a pair or set like shown here. If I find a vase I love and it has a coordinating vase from the same line, I will most often buy both. This way I get triple the styling options. I can style them each separately or together as a set. Here's an example of a set where I have styled them together separately, empty, and filled. And I love the look of both having two vases side by side empty, or you could fill one and leave the other one empty if you're styling them as a pair. Okay, time to move on to number four. And number four is artwork and personal photos. I think this is my favorite part of the shelves because this is how I can easily bring personality to them. And I love the artwork because I can inexpensively change out the prints each season and get a completely new look. Most often I lean artwork against the wall or shelf, but you can also prop up your artwork or personal photos with an art easel, which ends up adding yet another dimension and height to your shelves, which I love. 
And our shelves in our home office are where we display all of our family and personal photos. And when styling your personal photos, you can stack a frame on top of books. And I also love the layered look of having the artwork behind the personal photo, like shown here. I style artwork on both my kitchen shelves as well as my laundry room shelves too. But I do keep the personal photos for my home office bookshelves, but you do you. You style your shelves how you prefer. I will link in the description below artwork and frame favorites. And I'm also linking a couple of blog posts that you may find helpful regarding art. One is a post all about where to buy artwork for the home. And the second is the best place for online art printing, where I share exactly what and how I order if I'm printing digital art prints. All right, friends, time for number five, and that is decorative boxes. I love to use decorative boxes when styling my shelves for several different reasons. First of all, in a spot like a home office or a laundry room, decorative boxes are great for storing items that you don't want to have out on display. And number two, like vases and pots, larger set of stacking boxes are a great way to fill up a large space, which is helpful when styling a big area. And the smaller boxes are great for filling in around the larger items, like shown here. And I also love decorative boxes because they come in so many different materials and sizes, which is always good for adding interest to your shelves. I have boxes made of marble. I have metal stacking boxes, wood boxes, and even woven boxes. I think the more variety of decorative boxes, the better when getting ready to style a shelf. And you can find a link to my favorite decorative boxes in the description below. Okay, we're on to number six, but before we get to it, if you are enjoying this video and finding it helpful, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Okay, back to the list, number six. And this one is greenery and flowers. This is a big one, friends. This is what really brings your shelves to life. Remember when I mentioned above that I almost never style a shelf without a decorative vase or pot? Well, the same thing goes for greenery. Even my smaller shelves in my kitchen and laundry room get greenery or flowers. For my laundry room, I have to do a faux plant because it doesn't get any natural light. But let's be honest, I can't keep plants alive even in a well-lit area. So most of the plants that you see throughout my home are faux. But if your shelves have natural light and you have a green thumb, go for the real plants. Or fresh flowers are a great thing to add to your shelves as well. During the spring and summer months, I will bring fresh flowers in, but during the rest of the year, like I mentioned before, I almost always rely solely on faux greenery. I love to place them in baskets, pots and vases, and for the smaller ones, I love to prop them up on a stack of books, like you can see here. And if you were adding a plant or fresh flowers to a pot or vase, I recommend not styling it right next to another pot that is filled. Sprinkle the greenery and flowers throughout the shelves. You can see in this shot, I have styled a variety of greenery, but spread them out so it doesn't appear too cluttered. There's a small vase filled with fresh flowers styled in front of some spring artwork, a small faux plant topping a stack of books, and another bigger plant inside of a basket. And if you have a smaller bookshelf or open shelves like I have in my laundry room or kitchen, one pot, filled with greenery is the perfect touch. And here's a tip, friends. Place coasters inside of your larger baskets or vases for the faux plant to stand on. It will appear much more substantial. The plant shown here that I'm putting in this large pot is quite small, but when you prop it up with the coasters, it appears to be a large plant and fits the pot so much better. Okay, on to number seven, which is baskets. I love to have a variety of baskets on hand when styling my shelves. They are great for storing items that you don't want out on display, and they are also great as a statement piece styled empty. And they are also fun for styling as a vase for faux greenery. And here's another tip. You're gonna wanna vary the sizes and shapes of your baskets throughout your shelves. I even use small baskets to style as bookends, like you can see here. And last, but definitely not least, we're on to number eight, and that is decorative bowls. As you can see in this shot, I have four different styles of bowls on my shelves. 
All four are empty. However, I occasionally style them with wood beads or decorative items. And at Christmas time, I love to fill bowls with ornaments. All right, friends, let's summarize number one through eight before we wrap up this video. Number one, books. It is a personal preference whether you want to style your shelves with your entire book collection or just a select few or a combo of the two. You will want to style them both vertically and horizontally and get creative by using different objects as book toppers and book ends. Speaking of objects, number two is decorative objects such as candles, candle holders, marble objects, etc. And like I mentioned before, you can stack these smaller objects next to or in front of artwork or use as bookends or book toppers. Number three was vases and pots. And the tip here was to vary the size and type throughout your shelves and style them with and without greenery or fresh flowers. Number four was artwork and personal photos. Sprinkle them throughout your shelves. If you have a smaller bookcase or open shelves, one larger piece is usually enough. Number five was boxes. Use a mix of big and small. Stack a set together or place a smaller box on top of a stack of books. Number six was greenery and flowers. If you have a green thumb, shelves are a great place to display your plants. But if you are like me and don't, faux is okay. Oh, and use fresh flowers too. Number seven was baskets. Baskets are great for storing items that you don't want to display or be creative and use them as a vase for your faux greenery. And number eight was decorative bowls. They can be styled empty or filled. Use a small bowl as a book topper and a large bowl as a statement piece styled on its own. Okay, friends, we made it to the end. And for those of you who stayed and watched the entire video, I so appreciate you. And I'm rewarding you all with a PDF style guide bonus. I have created a PDF that you can download where I have linked my must have items for styling your shelves. I have broken them up into eight different categories that we talked about in the video, boxes and bowls, books, artwork, etc. So you can easily shop for your own shelves by category. You can find a link to the bonus PDF style guide in the description below. Scroll down to the bottom and it will say bonus and you can take the link from there. So what did you think about the video? What did you find most helpful? Did you have a favorite tip or favorite category that you're excited to style your shelves with? I love hearing from you guys, so leave a comment below. Again, you can shop items that I have shared in the video, plus a lot more in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.